Okay, punching bag skunk.com. Uh, go to the uh, YouTube channel, subscribe, uh, check the website out. I uh, got some good videos on it, classic, classic fight videos, and I uh, got some uh, good articles on it. Check out. Uh, we uh, uh, write staff down here. Uh, update these articles uh, once a week, so you got some new stuff. You gotta read a bunch of recycled nonsense. Um, and you can, uh, yeah, there you go. Go to the website, check it out. Uh, uh, just be ready. Okay, I'm here today with a little bit of boxing advice. Check us out. Now that that's out of the way. Today we got five tricks to, to, for you to hit harder. Five, five ways to increase your punching power. Okay, one, make sure you rotate your waist when swinging a punch. Now, that means turning, turning with your punch. See, see that? See my rotation on my waist? That's where your power is coming. Your power comes from your core. You, you know, it comes from around this area here. That's where your power is at. So you, you want to turn with that. You want to turn with that. Joe, Joe Lewis used to knock you out with his hook, but he didn't necessarily throw his arm. He, he, he turned with it. See, see, I'm, see I'm, not, I'm not doing this. See, that, that's arm. I'm turning my waist. Ah, bop, bop, bop. I'm turning my waist. So you have to turn your waist uh, to, 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 to generate true power. See that? Can't you see what I'm doing there? See that? Bam. I'm turning with it. I'm turning. That, that's what you See, this, that's one thing. Now, these guys that are naturally strong, uh, that that could probably knock you out with this nonsense right here. But get out of here with that. Look, look, look. How much more powerful are you if you throw the punch right? Turn with it. Okay, so turn with the punches. You know, if if you if you're kind of out of alignment and you don't really, you know, you, you're a rookie and, uh, and you want, you need to exercise. Uh, uh, here's a simple exercise you can do to, to get you in alignment. And you don't even need any equipment. You just need a broomstick. Get a broomstick. Put it behind your neck. Wrap your hand around it. And it'll keep you stabilized. See that? It'll keep you like that. And that'll get you used to the rhythm from throwing your punches with turning your waist. Because what happens is when you turn, you have to, you have, with your stick back there, you have to turn your waist with it. So that'll, see that? That'll keep, this is a simple exercise that anybody can do. You don't need no fancy equipment. You get this broomstick, put it behind your neck like that, and it'll teach you how to turn with your punches. You, before you know it, you're throwing them dangerous hooks. Ha! With your waist. With your, ha ha! You took, you're throwing them dangerous combinations. This wants to get, Get, get you get respect. All right, let's keep on moving on. All right, uh, two, plant your feet firmly on the surface uh, when you're punching. Nothing aggravates me more than watching a guy punch like this, one foot off the ground. Get out of here with that. You you need to plant to generate any kind of power. Okay, you you you, you, you can't you can't be bouncing around with, you, with with one foot in the air. Listen, even if you want to dance, I get it. You know, I was fast, 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 fast. fast. I was really fast. Trust me. But if, if, you know, you want to dance around a little bit, fine. Get your rhythm, get your rhythm going. But when you when you get ready to punch, you plant, back, plant down, bury, boop, 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 let it go. And then if you want to get back up on your feet and do your dance routine, that's fine. I'm I'm, I, I'm all for that. I, you know, I don't, I'm not just get dancing. I'm just I'm just saying when you get ready to punch, plant down, but you gotta plant like a tree, like a tree's plant is solid, stop, solid. You know what I mean? So you can bounce around. Plant down when you want to throw your bomb. Sugar Ray, then you watch, watch the fight Sugar Ray later. He dance around, but when he's getting ready to put it down, boom, plant, bop, 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 and he'll put it in. A lot of times, uh, a guy, you know, me being tall, they, you know, they, they assume I can't bang. So a lot of guys are coming in, they, they try to put pressure on me. And I'll just let him come, and I'll just keep hitting him with the jab. I like to say, tame him with the jab. Hop, hop, there you go. Hop, hop. And then when they keep coming, out of nowhere, I'll just stop and plant, and boom, 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 put it on the ass. And then, then they, they, then now they got respect for my punching power. So when you're gonna punch, make sure you plant your feet, both feet, not that one in the air or that back up or that bull crap. No, get out of here with that. You need to plant your feet. Okay, that's what was that? Two. Where we at? Three. Extend. Lock your arms. What I mean by that is, when you throw a punch, you want to extend. Can you see that? See that? I, I look at it like this. That's a spring. That's a board. Spring board. String board. So, so you throw your punch, you want to extend on it. Ah, ah, you want to extend on it. You want to extend it all the way out. Because look at it like this. When 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 you throw when you throw your arm, you throw you throw a punch, it's like a whip. The, 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 the power is at the uh, the energy is on the, the, the pop on the whip. The extension of the whip. You know, that pop. That's the same thing with your punch. Pop. Pop. 
Pop, pop. See, that, that's where your power, where, where, where the power is coming here. It's, so you extend, okay? Don't be doing that. <laughs> or that book. <laughs> that arm punching nonsense. It's good. Get in there and extend your punches. All of them. I don't mean when you hit the bag. Hit. When you hit the bag with the right hand, it shouldn't be like this. It should be like this. If you look at Tommy Hood's beautiful straight right hand, right down the pipe, just killing people. What more do you need to know? That, that guy's the dream, most tremendous punches are coming down the pipe with them punches. Ha! And that bowl on all this stuff. I mean, you can knock it. I naturally strong can do that. I'm just saying, you want, you want proper technique, come down the pipe with the straight punches. Stay your arm locked. When you connect with the punch, it should be this way it should be. Okay? Right there. Okay. You know, like, take a springboard. Okay, four. Make sure your fists are clenched tight at the end of the punch. Now, this might sound like a little thing. But it's not. Because you don't see... First of all, let me talk about proper balling your fist up. You'd be surprised how many jackasses don't even know how to ball their fists up. Go to gym and see kids like this. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. That's bull crap. I mean, come on. Somebody correct this now. Get out of here with that. Boy, you, this is how you ball your fists up. Proper way to ball your fists up. Okay? Just so you know. Ain't no space in there. You know, your thumbs are not over here. Uh, it, oh, my God. You better not ever see me doing this. See anybody do it. You better not let me see you doing this. Because this is the most ridiculous. This is the most. This is what tra these trains these days let kids get away with. Because it's just retarded. Don't know nothing about boxing. This is retarded. Don't do that. Don't do this. This is the proper way to boil your fist up. Nice and tight. Now, with that said, I also. We talked about the whip thing. Remember? How was it in the whip? And a lot of times, again, I say I was very fast. Very, extremely fast. But I no, no. Extremely fast. So, a lot of times I feel faster with my hand open. Check out what I'm doing right here. See how I got my hand open? But when I throw my punch on, on contact, my fist is clenched. Okay, same thing with Bruce. If you remember Bruce's back fist punch, he used to do like this. Have his hands open. On the, on the, on the extent, on, on the contact, his hand becomes clenched. Like the, think of it like the whip. Here, yeah, arm is a whip. Yeah, my, my trainer, Phil, uh, used to tell me that in the gym, he didn't even have to see me actually hitting the bag, he he could, what, he, what he'd do is he he could listen and he'd hear the bag, pop, 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 and you hear that special sound, that pop, that's why I say snap your jab, when you snap it right, you can hear the, a certain pop, this is for trainers that know what they're doing, not jackasses that just looked at a book and said, I'm a trainer now, <laughs> and you're going to ruin some kid, and I'm going to get out ruining people too, by the way, on the next, on, on, on number five, but anyway, clench your fists, Arm contact, keep your fist clenched. I don't want anybody punching with their fist open because uh, that, remember this? Spring board, same thing. Spring board, same thing. You want to be a board. You got it? You want to be, you want to punch hard. You got to do these things. These are, these are little things. It's the little things that add up to the big things. You can't be a, 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 a great fighter if you don't master the little things. That's why it's a matter with the kids today. They want to skip all the hard work and go on to the... the, 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 the you, you, ah, it's going to make me aggravated, kid. They want to skip all the hard work. They want to go on and get, you know, they want to learn 18 punch combinations. They want to, all these fancy punches, but they don't even know how to throw a proper damn jab, okay? Learn, learn your basics first. Then you add on. Then you get fancy. You can't get fancy until you know what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Number five. Oh, uh, where was that? All right. Number five. Now, this is going to sound a little guru-ish. Okay? But believe in yourself. Believe that you're a puncher. When I, I'll explain. One time I was an amateur and I fought this kid. And I must have blasted him on with a hundred punch. Bang, boom, bang, 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 bang. And everywhere, <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Everywhere, just bomb this guy out. Thousand punches. And he, and I know I can punch. You know what I mean? I catch you on the butt with my, with my power right here. You're gone. Fight's over. See you later. Hit the shower. I know that. I know I can punch hard. Okay. I'm banging this guy on my money punch. Bam, right on the butt. Bam, right on the butt. Bam, right on the butt. And he's sitting there. Every time I hit him with it, <laughs> that's all you got, bro. <laughs> that's all you got. Some guys you're not gonna knock out. That don't have no, that's not an indictment on your punching power. Okay? Just some guys you got rocks in the head. They're not gonna go anywhere. You, you no matter what you hit him with, you take a baseball bat, 
clock him in the head with it. The student go, <laughs> it's all you got. These guys, whatever it is, it is what it is. I mean, what it, you know, it is what it is. So, so that has nothing to do with with, with your punching part. So belief, listen, belief is a big part of boxing. But, but, but I venture to say that belief is 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 is. I don't want to say those statistics that people come back and talking nonsense about. All right, eighty percent. Boxing is eighty percent confidence. I'm explaining that because you know, say they got a kid that got all the attributes: fast, stamina, dedication, work hard, of course, the board. But they take this green kid, they put him in with a seasoned veteran, and the veteran beats the living dog crap out of him. Okay, now the kid's confidence is crap. And he, he doesn't believe he's good. Look, you beat your you beat your grandmother 15 times, you're gonna start thinking you're good. Just the way it is. You win, you start getting confidence, and guess why you gotta take a fighter up a certain way. You're gonna take him here, 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 here. You can't put him from here to here. Cause this this veteran who got five losses but 25 fights and 10 of them fights against world top 10 in the world guys, is a, even though he got 15 losses, he's a dangerous guy. You know what he's doing. He's gonna ruin this kid. That's how people get upset all the time. You get ruined because you can't rush kids. You gotta build their confidence. Everything's about confidence. Everything in boxing is about confidence. You take them up, he starts believing. I tell my fighters, look, if I believe in you, if I think you're a good fighter and I've got a good eye for talent, dude, you got the, you got everything to be a champion. You can be a champion, okay? And, 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 and I tell them, believe in me if you until you believe in you. You know what I'm saying? Believe that I believe you can be champion. And then eventually you knock up enough, knock enough people out, you're gonna start believing in yourself. You know, I tell people like this. It's almost sacrilegious. Let me let me end with this too, by the way. It's almost sacrilegious to say anything bad about Muhammad Ali. Anything negative. I should say bad. You can't say nothing bad about him. He's Muhammad, he's Muhammad Ali. I get it. But what made Ali great, man, is not his necessary. You gotta be real careful with this stuff. Not necessarily his skill. I mean, Ali could go, did go to the body. He was, you got a vicious body punch. Ali was a good dig to the body. Yeah, go to the body. Certain elements of his fighting style that, you know, he wasn't, like, good at it. I, I wouldn't call him a great body puncher. And anyone that does is just retarded. I mean, held a little bit too much in his later years. I mean, there was things you could pick on Ali. But here, here's the deal. What made him the greatest is that he believed he's the greatest. When Ali said... I'm the greatest. He believed it. A lot of guys tell me now, hey, get over you're old now. I'll knock you out. They don't believe it. I can say, I, people can say whatever they want to say. You know what I mean? Listen. What was I going to say? Ah, if, 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 if somebody says they're going to knock, 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 knock me up, I mean, look, you got to believe. People got to believe. You got to believe in yourself. Okay? I know it sounds like I said, guru ish and, and pep talk, tech junk, but, but, what made Ali Bates? They believe. Look, here's a story they said that George Foreman hit him with a good bomb punch. George knocked guys halfway silly. And he went around and said to uh, 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 Bull George and Clinton, how, how, how are they hitting me? I'm, don't you know who I am? The greatest. See, he, he, he believed he was the savior box. He, be, he, believe, he believed he was the greatest. When he said it, it wasn't lip service. People can say whatever they want. I like to say, you ain't going to say it if someone says I can knock you out. Or, 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 so here's a tell sign for me. This person, just, just me personally, because I'm an old man now, and I know some jackasses still sometimes try to come, you know, in my in my hometown, try to come to me. Uh, 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 I knock you out now. I don't care that you're a boxer. Anyone that says something like that, they already told. Because if you really didn't care, it would never cross your mind. So when someone says to you. I don't care that you're a boxer. They ain't care that you're a boxer. Because somewhere in the recesses of their mind, they're impressed with it. With that said, speedbagskunk.com. Like, share, subscribe. Go to the website. Say whatever you want. I don't care. No punches thrown. You know, we hit everybody in the head around here. Uh, go to the uh, uh, YouTube channel. Check out the videos. Uh, we got a lot of... Uh, we update our articles on the website every three days. Fresh articles. In-depth articles. You got some good videos on there to look at. You know, go check it out. Speedbagstuff.com if you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Peace.